What are we doing today? That. <laughs> back if you see behind us that is our project for today ah! so we used to live in a really big house and then we emptied that out so we can move into the camper and we've been putting off that for a long time too long so now we have to tackle it And the best way to do it is to start small. So our plan today is donate, trash, and that's our plan. And just to start. With all this stuff, we have to figure out which we're gonna actually take home or take with us on the road. Mm -hmm. What stuff we're actually gonna leave here, what we're gonna donate, what we're gonna trash. Yeah. And the cool thing about the trash is we have to find a place to dump the trash we can't just leave it on the curb because this is a the HOA. They don't allow you to do that. So, um, so hmm. the way that we do it is if we haven't used it for six months and we haven't been here for six months. So if we haven't used it, it goes out. If you don't use it, you lose it. So he's got to lose a lot of his tools. And my weight. I got a belly. <laughs> Corona's done a number on me. <laughs> so, on that note, we need to jump in. If you're in the neighborhood, please stop by and we take probably, whatever you want. We probably have something that you want or yeah, could need. That's another thing. We've, we've got friends here that are going to be stopping by in a few minutes and helping us liquidate some of these items. Yes. What do you got there? Um, I want to suggest it a crop top, but like, it's a top that has no straps, so it would be good for the summer, but if you're having this on it, no, it's itchy. Okay, bye. Itchy in the spot. Donated items are going in here. Keeping items are going over here. Garage items are staying in the garage. I guess trash items will go over here. Follows our YouTube channel. <gasps> really? That, yeah. You guys are like famous. <laughs> no, she is. is. She is. I'm not. Oh my god. Cool. You gotta pose by your by your board. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that even matches your car. I know, it's so cool. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Just dialing. So cool. All right, so this is kind of the uh, problems that we're facing. We've got air pump. We need an air pump, okay? We need to be able to pump up tires. We could pump up tires with this, and we could pump up tires with this. But when would we use this? No, we wouldn't use this. Or what would this benefit us more than this? Would we use this remotely? where we wouldn't have a cigarette lighter to plug this thing in, or we, could we use this, rely on this, keeping it fully charged and the battery good all the time. And if this goes bad, just get a new one. Hmm. So we're gonna keep this and we're gonna donate this. All right, so anything that we keep is going to have multiple functions. So this here is my firefighter, but he also doubles as a uh, pencil sharpener. 
So that's some good. We're going to keep that guy. Now, this is another firefighter, and I got this like a long time ago. 20 years. But the cool thing about him is he poops out fire extinguishers or fi oh fire hydrants. So that is some multiple use stuff. Plus, I can put um, I can put paper clips in there. So we're going to keep this guy. Hey guys, we just got to our t hotel for tonight. Um, we're actually staying in a hotel for once. That's kind of cool. Um, it's in kind of a sketchy little neighborhood. So uh, one thing I wanted to show you was if you are traveling with paddle boards like we are, uh, I just wanted to show you one way that you can secure your paddle boards just a little bit more in the event that uh, somebody tries to steal them from you. Um, it may not prevent them 100% from stealing them, but um, may give them a little bit of extra problems. Um, of course, anytime you have paddle boards and stuff like that, um, if you don't have any kind of a tie down strap lock or uh, anything to secure them to your vehicle, um, you're risking them being stolen. All right, so right up here, we have our ratchet strap and then our other straps going down, ratchet strap and another strap going down. We have it run through here. So if there's tension on this line, this it's a little bit hard for this to release. So we will run the line down, run it through, and then uh, tie it right on there. Kind of the same thing here. Just like run it all the way, whoop, run it all the way down. And then we'll go ahead and just tie a couple knots right here. You don't have to tie a lot of knots, just a, a really good knot or two. Um, and like I said, it's makes it very difficult. They can always cut these straps. You know, uh, thieves know that. They'll just come up with a knife, cut them, and then take your boards. It's a little bit quieter that way. But if they don't have the tools to do that, then um, it makes it a little tricky for them. All right. Good night. Perfect.